Hey, what is going on, SMT Nation? It's your boy, the SMT. Uh, we got to talk a little bit about what's going on with Boost Mobile and their network access. If you're a Boost Mobile customer, this may affect you. Uh, my recommendation is to listen carefully to these details and try to avoid any service disruptions or trouble with your device moving forward into the future. So uh, this is kind of information that I was able to obtain and secure from a source uh, very close to the organization. And, uh, you know, what I've been able to obtain is information about how they're going to proceed with network access for customers that have devices that are on the Boost Mobile uh, side of T-Mobile access. So if you are still running a Boost Mobile SIM card that is legacy, you're still on the Sprint Legacy Network, things are about to change for you. You're going to want to make these adjustments and be prepared for the future. So the big speed bump in the world of Boost Mobile is going to be transitioning from Sprint Legacy Network Access over to the T-Mobile Network Access. So if you have an old legacy Boost uh, device that is Sprint Network based or devices that have you know, mostly CDMA connectivity, older 3G type devices, you know, you're going to have to transition over to the T-Mobile network at some point. The bottom line is, is that the Sprint Legacy Network is getting shut down in the very near future, and it's actually getting accelerated, right? So it's not, it's not something you can really negotiate. Eventually, it is going to be shut down. So within the next calendar year, migrations for the network are going to be completed. They'll be ongoing, and they need to continue until it's finished. So all customers will need to get into an expanded data network access, aka the T-Mobile network. So even if your coverage is going to, you know, um, suffer or degrade because the Sprint native network had better coverage for you before, or whatever the case may be, it looks like moving forward, it's going to be all T-Mobile network access. So uh, activations on the Sprint network will be by exception only. And in fact, I think by June 1st of 2021, there will be absolutely no new activations onto the Sprint side. Uh, so, you know, that's going to be something you're going to have to know moving forward to plan accordingly. Uh, you know, it kind of sucks. Uh, no SIM swapping, no activations, no SIM changes, no sales on the Sprint side, nothing Sprint legacy based. So moving forward, it's all T-Mobile. It's all expanded data network only. It's just something you're going to have to do. So make those adjustments, you know, save up your ducats. If you got to buy a new phone, that's going to get you access to, you know, N41 and N71. I advise it anyways. Your network access should greatly improve. I mean, at this point, it is what it is. You were part of a merger. There's network access changes. It's just something you're going to have to deal with. And I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but make those adjustments accordingly. If, you know, this prepares you for the future, I really hope it does. If you appreciate it, give this video a like, share it to people that you know could benefit from any abrupt changes. You know, having the awareness of what's up and coming in the near future could definitely help them. So uh, hopefully this does help you and prepare you for the future. If it did, let me know in the comment section. Drop me a line. Let me know what you think of these news. Again, respond sooner rather than later. Better than being shut out of the network. So now you know. Anyways, hope you have a great rest of the day. We'll catch you soon on the next video. Peace.